There we go. Okay, now we're recording. It's mailbag. Hello, everybody. We're just, I'm, as usual, running just a little bit late. Uh, this time for no reason except that uh, I just lost track of what time it was. Um, what am I, uh, what do I need to say here? Uh, okay, I got this. I need something to open the packages with, and then we can get rolling. <clears throat> All right, now we're now we're moving. Okay. Now I just had to put custard in Till's room because Till was locked up all night and she deserves a chance to come out. Um, but custard really can't stop himself from causing a little bit of trouble with her. Uh, it's not too bad if I can keep an eye on it though. You know they spend all day long in my office together in this enclosed space, and they're not any trouble as long as I don't lose track of what's happening. So, because Custard's sitting here and being the most pathetic, don't go right for her, buddy. You're going to lose this privilege real quick. Okay, there we go. All right, it is Saturday. It's about 10 o'clock. It's November 11th. It's mailbag. And uh, we usually start with news and letters, so I don't see any reason to change that up. Let me check the camera angles here. As far as news goes, we had a couple vet trips this week, um, and uh, one of them was to do the pre-work for uh, the four younger kittens that still need to have their surgeries. So we get blood work done on those in advance, and did. Uh, I haven't actually heard the results of that blood work yet, I don't think, um, but uh, I will, and uh, you know we'll find out. I'm sure it's all fine though. It's just it's just a formality to make sure that they're all in good shape. Uh, every now and then, rarely, um, it catches out something at the last minute, like a teaspoon situation where um, they have a heart murmur, and most of the time those heart murmurs turn out to be nothing at all. Um, oh, they're calling me right now. Let me just find out what they have to say. Hang on. Hello.
All right. Sorry, I know that was kind of a lengthy interruption, um, but it was worthwhile. Uh, let's see. I think you can hear me. Let me look. Looks like you can hear me. Let me see uh, if the uh, chat thinks you can hear me. So that was, in fact, our vet. That was Dr. P at the vet. Um, she's the, the, the newer uh, uh, addition to Dr. K's practice. She's really great. And uh, she called to tell us about the blood work, just like I was in the middle of telling you when I answered the phone. I'm like, oh, I was just talking to everybody about that. Um, but we did have blood work done on all four kittens. And as expected, the kitten's blood work is perfectly normal. And they're all basically ready. Um, to go have their surgeries, but uh, she was actually calling about teaspoons blood work. So um, let's see. I can see you guys can hear me. Okay, cool. Uh, you're discussing my pants. Yeah, these are these are actually uh, more flannel jeans. They just don't look the same. They're colored a little different, but that's that's all they are. They're just they're the same kind of pants I wear all the time. They're just not blue, uh, in my opinion, anyway. And uh, DJ really. Seems to appreciate the fact I'm not wearing jeans <laughs> so, for a change. So that's good. Um, so teaspoons, blood work. Yes, uh, the, the, it's a really short story. Uh, the bottom line is that DJ asked to have the blood work done because she kind of suspected that he might have some kidney issues to go along with his heart issues based on the way that he's been uh, drinking water and behaving. And um, maybe even, I don't know if this really is poop or not. I don't know. Anyway, it was, just, it was drinking water, though, that really tipped her off. I think if, if you see your cat drinking a lot of water, it's actually not normal for most of my cats uh, and most of the kittens. I never see them drink water. Like, it's so rare. I, it's you just, you just don't see it happen. You know it happens, but it's infrequent. They don't have to drink a lot of water. They get most of it out of their food if you feed them wet food. Um, if you feed them dry food, of course, forget it. If you feed them dry food, yeah, they're going to drink a ton of water to wash that down. But with wet food, they just don't drink very much. So uh, a teaspoon eats all wet chicken. And uh, yeah, seeing him go to the, the water dish all the time kind of made DJ go, all right, let's check this out. And so uh, we got the blood work done. That's, uh, that's the way to go if you see your cat drinking a lot of water, especially if they didn't before when they were younger. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, so his kidney numbers are just a little bit elevated. Again, it's not too bad. It's not, it's not bad at all. It's exactly what you might expect to see from a kitten, though, that like, like Teaspoon, we're beginning to suspect that he's kind of a, a bag of congenital issues. Did you ever see the movie, um, uh, you guys already know the movie, I'm going to say, uh, Twins, with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. And in this movie, supposedly, if you know what they look like, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito are twins. Um, but they, I, if I, it's been a long time since seen it, but they explain it like Arnold Schwarzenegger got all the good genes and Danny DeVito got all the bad genes. Well, Teaspoon's kind of a Danny DeVito <laughs> in this situation. And, uh, and yeah, his heart's not, not the only issue, which is, I mean, any of us would have guessed that. We, that that's what we suspected all along is that that's not going to be the only problem. And his kidney issue, again, we don't know that it's genetic. I should start there. I should say we don't know anything about it yet. It could just be he's not, he's actually not getting enough water in his diet, you know, and we just have to make sure he does. Could be that simple. Um, or more likely, considering his circumstance, it's uh, just another genetic thing that we're going to have to deal with. Like I said, the numbers aren't too bad, so we don't, I'm not worried about it. Um, but I did ask the doc already. I said, you know, well, are we going to start him on a kidney diet right now? Um, she wants to do some more investigative stuff. She wants to do an ultrasound and kind of have a look around and check it out. We'll probably do that. Uh, when I asked her about the diet, though, I said, look, I want to get right on this. We've had kidney cats before. We know how it goes. Let's get him right on a kidney diet. And she said, well, he's still a kitten. And the kidney diet is mostly about restricted protein, I think. Um, so uh, she says she's going to check with somebody who's a specialist and find out if that's something we want to do now or if we want to wait until he's grown up a little. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's got some issues going on there, but boy, is he a sweetheart. He's just a real cutie pie. All right. Uh, what else did I need to tell you about? That's the news for the week. I think, um, we took him to the vet. Everybody's good. Next week they've got their surgery scheduled. Then everybody should be good to go home. Uh, most of the kittens have approved adopters at this point, but there's still a few that we're looking for. Like, um, this is Sprout and, uh, Sprout still needs an adopter. And Sweet Drizzle, her sister, still needs an adopter. Her sister and twin <laughs> somewhere still needs a, an adopter. And then uh, the mom cats, uh, in quotes, because neither of them is all that mommy. Uh, they're, they're both basically big kittens. 
And that's Till, who's over there somewhere, probably playing, I think. And uh, Serenity, who's upstairs in her own room, but she's been getting daily visits, play visits with the kittens. I've been especially trying to get her to play um, with the two that haven't been adopted uh, here. Oh, and Ledger. I forgot to mention Ledger still needs an adopter, too. Um, uh, I haven't heard anything anyway yet. Um, I lost what I was saying. Oh, I've been getting Serenity play dates, uh, with the, especially with the bigger kittens, because she wants to play. She is such a playful kitten, and you know it. Uh, you've seen her play. She just loves to zoom and play and wrestle, but making those connections is tough, and she already knows these guys and plays with them, and it's been working out pretty well. She doesn't, she's not exactly playing with them in the bedroom, but she appreciates the company, you can tell, for a while, and then it's real easy for her to get fed up and, and want to go back to her room. Um, so... So it's good that she has that. That's that's the way to, to manage that for her. Okay, double check. Okay, good. Ah! ah! Hey, custard! Custard! You stop that right now! No! Custard! Custard! Hey, hey, hey! No, you know better. Come on, buddy. You know not to do that. Come on now. Well, uh, happy mailbag, everybody. How's it going for you? So far, so good for me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well, well, there we go. We're just not going to do that again. <laughs> Too easy for him to sneak up. That's mostly noise. You know, nobody was injured there. She just is like uh, Maggie. She makes a lot of noise when she's in a, in a bad spot. So nothing else there. All right. Uh, hang on, let me take a breath here. All right. Whew. Let's see about these letters. Let's see about our new letter opener, maybe. Let's try it out here. Okay. Up before mailbag, that was the plan, as you saw. Uh, but I thought we could do better. Okay, this says, uh, Flat Izzy says, Happy birthday. Aw, oh, he's on the back too, isn't that cute? Okay, oh, oh, I see, that's got, huh, it's got like a scraper on the front too, in case you need to scrape some things, I guess. Aw. <laughs> This is a kitty making a birthday wish, and he's wearing a slice of pizza on his face, and he says, I wish for a different birthday hat. Uh, <laughs> that's cute. Okay, it says, okay to read on stream, and there's also a note. It says, the note is okay to read on stream, but read the card first. That's great. I appreciate that kind of direction, so I don't do it wrong. <laughs> it says, dear Mr. A, best birthday greeting from one November 8th birthday cat attendant to another. Oh, wow. Well, happy birthday, Lily Cat's mom. My birthday wish is for approved adopters for the current students, especially Serenity, Raindrop, Drizzle, and Sprout. I hope their plan to catch the attention of the perfect adooters works. See the note for details, purrs and meows, Lily Cat's mom. Okay. Hi, uh, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty and students, I know our wish is for all the students to find their perfect adooters. And I was pleasantly surprised to receive a message through the Kazoo Network from a few of those students. I'm guessing that Serenity, Raindrop, Drizzle, and Sprout must have recently seen the Carol King musical Beautiful, just as I did, because they said they thought it might help catch an adjudicator's attention if they did a music video in the style of the 1960s girls groups like the Chiffons and the Shirelles, who performed many of the hit songs written by Carol King and Jerry Goffin. Uh, I told them that I couldn't help with the costumes, choreography, or videography, but I could help with song lyrics. The song choice was obvious because, of course, it will be one fine day when each of these lovely cats is united with their forever humans. So, without further ado, here's the K.A. version of One Fine Day. Perhaps if Serenity, Raindrop, Drizzle, and Sprout line up a few more collaborators through the Kazoo Network, we'll be able to see them perform the song under their stage name of the Meowrettes. All right, I think Meow Rats is a little bit of a mouthful. Uh, maybe we got to work on that a little bit. But uh, I like this idea, and I can't even say the words one fine day without having the song stuck in my head instantly. But 
I hope none of you expect me to attempt to sing these lyrics because that, I've got very few personal boundaries when it comes to this uh, stream, but that's one of them. So, one fine day, and it does start with the shooby dooby dooby uh, in the lyrics here, so we got that. One fine day, you'll look at me, and you will know adoption's meant to be one fine day. You're going to want me for your cat. Yes, okay. This is good, actually. I almost want to sing it because the, the, the theme is just, you know, it's right. I can't, though. I'm not going to. Uh, the home I long for will open wide, and you'll be proud to have me right by your side. One fine day, you're going to want me for your cat, shooby dooby, etc. Though I know you might not. Be sure, if it's time to have a cat around, I'll be, keep waiting and someday, human, you'll come to me when you want to hear a meow. Oh, uh, one fine day, when you are sure you, that you, then you'll adopt a cat or two or three or more, one fine day, you're going to want me for your cat. That's so cute. Uh, by Lily Cat's mom. That is actually super adorable. And uh, it's good to know that there's so many uh, talented people that, uh, that are part of our Discord, um, and by that I mean you, uh, Lily Cat's mom, writing the lyrics, but uh, of course I know there's plenty of people that can make all this happen if that was something they really wanted to do, um, but I leave that entirely up to you, um, collectively, of course. So, uh, I don't know if I read your signature, it says purrs and meows, Lily Cat's mom, Lily Cat's dad, twin A, twin B, Izzy Cat, flat Izzy, and angel cat Lily. So, uh, thank you so much. I really do. I like that a lot. I'm, um, I kind of wish I could sing it for you, <laughs> but uh, we got to keep this thing going. So, here we go. This is really cute. It's got coffee stamps and a tea kettle uh, return address um, thingamabobber. So, that's cute. Birthdays are like cats. <laughs> I can think of a million punchlines for this, but the obvious one's a little morbid, isn't it? Uh, okay, before you know it, there's another one. That was good. Okay, I was going to say, you can't have just one. <laughs> so, all right, let's not go there. Uh, dear Mr. A, before you know it, there's another one. Happy birthday. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays with love, hugs, and purrs. Aw, from Anne Marie, a.k.a. Philly uh, Moose. Uh, Philly Mouse. I know it's Philly Mouse, but this says Philly Moose, so I'm going to go with that. I hope you like... Uh, stickers. I hope you like... See, there's another word I'm having just a little trouble with it. I hope you like something stickers, but... Uh, oh, I think it says the. I hope you like these stickers. Okay, that's that makes too much sense. The definite article. Uh, we will put that right in there. These look like... Oh, these are some uh, good stickers. Okay, we got a whole bunch of really cute cat stickers. This guy's adorable, and he's got like a little bulldog stance, like Tiny Teaspoon. That's super cute. We got some cartoon kitty stickers. Oh, this is very cute. Those are some nice glasses on her. Uh, scarf. The whole family. Oh, this is weird. This is a whole family of kitties, and one of them is wearing headphones. One of them has glasses. There's obviously a mom kitty there. Uh, super cute. This has some style that looks familiar, but I couldn't name if I tried. Uh, we got this cute little black kitty that reminds me of that galaxy cat that was sent in. And we have a Eddie looking guy here and this one with the feathers on. Ooh, oh, 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 I think, okay, dropped one. Not the feathers guy though, he's right there. Uh, oh, and a mermaid, of course, a little mermaid holding flowers. So sweet. Uh, thank you. I'm going to set these aside so they go right up to my sticker collection, which uh, I legitimately have and, and look at and... Um, any day now, I'm going to get it uh, on all of my devices, actually. I originally was like, I want to decorate my laptop. You ever seen people do that? they got stickers all over their laptop. I'm like, I've always wanted to do that. I never did. Mine still looks very professional, which is dumb. Um, so I've always wanted to do that. Now I'm thinking I could go that and beyond. I put a KA sticker on my Nintendo Switch, um, and <laughs> I think it should be covered in stickers, too. I think all, all of them should be. Oh, this is cool. Not only is this a pop-up card, it's it's like a, it spreads out. All the balloons spread out past the borders of the card. That's a little extra fancy. So it really explodes out of the box when you open it. It says, happy birthday, celebrate. Oh, there's the note. Uh, happy birthday, Mr. A from Ginger, Tuffy Cat, Joey, and G. Uh, thank you, Ginger, Tuffy Cat, Joey, and G. Here, if you want to play with this, you do it over here where you don't have to smack anybody, okay? Right, right here, get it, get it, get it. Oh, what is it, what is it? Oh, look at you. Aren't you a kitten? Okay. 
Uh, Ginger Tubby Cat, thank you. Yeah, I guess I didn't say anything about it. It is, uh, was my birthday on November 8th, just like it is every year. Um, but just like I say every year, uh, we don't usually make any big deal about it. We don't celebrate it. You know, we don't do anything. Um, and I have definitely reached the age where now I don't even want to really think about it or do the math on how many of them I may have had at this point. Uh, I'll just say it's definitely more than one. Um, and it's definitely more than I have cats. So... Hi, aren't you being cute? That was very cute, Till. That was very cute. Did somebody steal your toy, huh? One of your kittens. She's just going to play with the other end of it. All right. Uh, sweetie Raindrop. I only know Raindrop because there's no collar. Um, and uh, it's Raindrop now that doesn't have the collar on. Okay, I think that was it for cards. And I'm, I'm really taking my time about this, aren't I? Um, but let's just see what we get done. And if we have to push some of it till tomorrow, we could. But there's... Not a lot here. I think we can do this. So, oh, that, man, that Chewy box is heavy. I'll go to it instead of bringing it to me uh, when the time is right. Try not to drop anything on sweet little Drizzle here. Hi, sweet little Drizzle. Oh, 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 sweet little Drizzle is going to be a bitey, oh, bitey, bitey little Drizzle. Okay, here, treat. Try biting something that's more appropriate like this ball. Oh, it's Velcro to the floor. I see. All right. Okay, uh, well, this says Lena. Oh, Lena, thank you so much in advance. Um, let's see here. Now, I know some people sent me some notes, and I know I haven't been very present on uh, Discord this week or maybe last week because of DJ's vacation that I've been, uh, frankly, kind of spending most of that time with her when I can. Uh, she's out right now doing a social thing with one of her friends, believe it or not. Um, I know, it's rare. She does that like once a year, and this is it. So, aw, well, as expected, uh, Lena always likes to send a little something with the kitten's names on it, and this is no exception. We have embroidered mice, catnip-filled mice. This one says Till on it. And we have uh, Quid. Oh, wow, that Quid's very fancy font on that. I like it. Farthing. Um, let's just see. Ledger matches the collar. Very cute. And doubloons. Very pink. Super sweet. Oh, those are great. Let's see if there's a note. Aw, oh, okay. Uh, it just says enjoy for each of the kittens. That's super, super cute. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, there is a note. Catnip Mousies for beautiful Till and her adorable petty cash. Love and spoogles from Lena. Ah, oh, thank you, Lena. What's this? Oh, these cat toys contain organic leaf catnip and are sprayed with catnip spray. You can refresh it with catnip. Okay, perfect. I'm going to put them back in the bag until we have a box for endowments, and then we'll get that moved over. Put this with the cards. I think we're good. Okay. All right. Well, let's just take the next small box here. Oh, this is from Mishi. All right, Mishi. Raindrop, you took the good spot. I know that these two are just sitting close by waiting for the good spot to open up, but look at you. You just hogged the good spot. Hogged it. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, I see the word churro, don't I? Oh, maybe I don't. No. Oh, no, that's not the word churro at all. Okay. Churu, I meant, uh, and it's not that word either. It's a uh, Christmas tree ornament. I thought I saw something else. Oh, gosh, I think I saw Choking Hazard. <laughs> or maybe I saw Charlie Brown. We'll go with Charlie. Okay. It's uh, Peanuts, a Charlie Brown Christmas book and tree kit with music. <gasps> it's got a little tiny Christmas tree in it. Oh, see, I, I, I don't know why you sent this, uh, Mishi, but... I think I know, and I think it's because I always talk about when uh, the year that um, I went to India for Christmas with DJ, and Christmas in her town of Kanchipuram is uh, a lot different than it is here. Um, so, uh, oh, this is cute. It is. It's a little tiny Christmas tree, and it's, uh, it's not as tiny as you would think, and it makes music, and you can put it together. I'm not going to put it together. I'm going to let DJ do that. Anyway, the thing that I always have uh, mentioned about that trip there for Christmas, or one thing, it was the whole trip was fascinating, uh, is that the Christmas trees they grow there and use there, um, obviously they don't import them from other countries, and 
uh, even from other regions in India, really, that would just be prohibitively expensive. Maybe, maybe rich people do. Um, but uh, right outside of Kanchi, we saw the places where they grow. They've got little pine fir forests, I don't know, planted, you know. And basically, the, the short of it is they all look exactly like this. They do not grow up like thick and lush pine trees like we see here, or like you see maybe in the Pacific uh, Northwest. Um, nothing like that at all. They all look exactly like little Charlie's uh, Christmas tree. In fact, we went to one of the Christian churches that was all decorated uh, for Christmas, and they had their really, you know, like their their Christmas tree for the church out in front, and it was all decorated, and it looked Exactly. It had more than one ornament on it, but it was just scraggly. They're, they're all scraggly like that. So it's really cute, and it makes me think of that. And that's just the way that they are, um, which I suspect is you know, kind of a contributor to why DJ is such a big fan of Christmas here, because uh, she doesn't really get to experience it there. And she grew up with like American TV and American TV culture. They, TV shows make a big deal about Christmas, right? Uh, so you can understand all that. This is so cute. This is clearly a, a Dragon Maker package. I don't know if that's uh, if it was sent by Dragon Maker. Probably. Um, I mean, from you know what I'm trying to say. Let's open this note and find out. The thing I was saying is so cute, though. It says Till and her petty cash, and on the back it's got an almost Banksy style. Um, well, not style, but a Banksy reminiscent little tiny uh, felt kitten, Siamese kitten, tiny felt Siamese kitten stuck in the corner of the envelope, and then uh, a line drawn to a balloon that is sealing the envelope. So it's functional, and it's cute, and it's art, and I really like it, and especially this little felt uh, Siamese kitty sticker. I just want to pet him. It's so soft. Okay, I know. You want to pet him, too. You want to bite the balloon, don't you? Okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh, all right, there's a kitty, and it says, Love and Spoogles from Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. And we get a PS Waves from the Dragon Maker. Thank you, Dragon Maker. And uh, especially thank you, Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. And what we have here, I'm assuming, are the, um, wow, these, oh, oh, that's cool. So many cool prints. Um, so Dragon Maker, uh, that's Maker, um, M-A-K-R, um, Dragon Maker. Uh, has an Etsy store and uh, makes all these really cool catnip things and, of course, also makes dragons. Just like the name says, the dragons are really nice. Uh, I'm, they're super quality and, and made out of super cool material. And uh, there's a couple different styles that are they're really cool. I, I recommend them. But the catnip pads are also super popular and cool, and the kittens will love them. So these are for their endowments. Um, Wow, that's a cool color. I don't even know what to make of all of these different prints. Um, the colors are nice. Most of them are sort of abstract. This has got a Christmassy feel, sort of a, a Native American feel. Do you get that from that? Or is that just me? I don't know. Um, this one feels like stained glass. Uh, and this one feels like, um, well, mushrooms, I guess, and flowers. We'll go with that. Uh, these are really nice. Aunt Susie, thank you so much for sending that for these kittens. You know they're going to love those. They're, they're just great little catnip toys. Um, so, we'll put that right there for the moment. And uh, let's try not to get confused about what is where before we finish. Okay, speaking about what's where, I'm going to run out of stuff I can reach pretty quick here. But uh, I think we all know who this is from. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Any guesses? Anybody? What might be in this box? Or who it might be from? I think we know. It's got all these cute little uh, geometrically arranged stickers on the outside. It is a white box. It is the classic B&B Sisters box. And inside, it appears to contain the... Classic B and B. Oh, somebody's already going to take their little Lena mouse. You want that right now, Ledger? Huh? Yours is the green one. Okay, go on in there and get it. Uh, oh, I got quid in my lap. How about that? Okay, the note. Look at that. Right on top. Right in the middle. Perfection. Okay. 
Ooh, oh, wow, we have a very busy uh, picture of kittens again. I feel like you guys have done this to me before, and I love it. This is a more modern uh, photo, just filled with little details and kittens. It is a, like a, a living room, uh, just a modern you know, person's house uh, living room. I say modern, it's got, it's got a little bit of a classic feel, but we're talking you know, 70s, 80s, uh, your grandma's house maybe, not... Um, anyway, it's set for tea. You can see that, high teas. They've got sandwiches and little cupcakes and things and tea and kittens everywhere. There's a St. Bernard sleeping in front of the fire. Kittens are knocking down vases. Kittens are tearing up the sofa. It's actually ripped it and stuffing's coming out. One's climbing the curtains. Uh, one is here putting his paw in the tea and the other one is... Uh, two of them are wrestling and have knocked a tea off of the table. It's in midair. Um, oh, there's a little bulldog who's let himself in the open door. Uh, lots and lots of details. I just, I love that kind of thing. Um, uh, there's a Reddit for those pictures that are like the intricately detailed ones, like the Where's Waldo style. It's not exactly this. I think it's called Wimmel Builder for some reason. I think German thing. I love looking at those. Uh, all right. This is Maximus and Peanut, and uh, they are really cute little, I guess Maximus probably in the front, uh, and Peanut the dog in the back, or maybe I have it backwards. Uh, um, but the little kitty here has ears that remind me of little Smokey's cauliflower ear, like a boxer. It says, hello to all at Kitten Academy. We are currently dog-sitting for our sister and brother-in-law, although Peanut is a sweet and good girl, we'll always appreciate our cats all the more every time we watch her as we are definitely more team cat. And in reverse, our sister, obviously, team dog, appreciates her dog all the more whenever she watches our cats when we go on vacation. Loads of credit to everyone who shares their homes with both, as it's a lot of work. Thank you and Dr. DJ for opening your home to these beautiful mom cats and their kittens and those of us watching online. In close to the usual food, blankets, and lots of toys, B&B &B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette, and the little part of the outside, uh, the, the two kittens wrestling and the falling teacup are reproduced on the inside of this. It's super adorable. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. I almost want to post a picture of it, though, so that everybody can see it. Uh, yeah, you talk about team dog and team cat, and I get it. You know, people say dogs versus cats, and I know you're not saying uh, dogs versus cats, because that's a silly thing. There's no real dogs versus cats, uh, not any more than there's cats versus cats. You know, they, it's just, I'm sure somebody saw a dog and a cat fighting, as happens, but you also see cats fighting, <laughs> so that's nothing. Um, I do like both quite a bit. I would love to have a dog, but you make the most salient point there in your note, which is it's a lot of extra work. You know, it's not um, like, you know, we can get another cat and it's not that much extra work. We don't have to bring in anything new, just a little bit more. Uh, dogs are, you know, they take a whole different kind of care. You have to take them for walks. You have to have a yard that they can go into. You have to train them. You know, you can get away without training a cat. The whole academy thing is a joke, but um, you can train a cat. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying you don't have to. Dog, you have to. If you want to have a good pet dog and, and you don't take time to teach it how to behave, um, you know, that's on you, and it's just, it's so important. Uh, and that's, that's one of the reasons why we haven't tried to replace Sweet Elsie uh, as much as we would like to. Um, it's just, it's a real commitment. <laughs> Custer just won't stop talking about how he wants out. This is beautiful. We've got all these kittens arranged in a border around one giant pretty kitty with nice fall colors. I see some of these even have like uh, fall backgrounds on the little tiny kittens around the borders. So cool. I love that technology has brought us uh, the ability to print things like this and just put all this beautiful art on our stuff uh, in a way that just we never would have thought of before. It's really pretty stuff. Okay, let's see. I mean, you know, this, this blanket would have had to have been probably woven with those colors in it or hand-painted, and either way, you'd never use it after that. Uh, ooh, oh, that's cool. Look at that. I love these bold colors with the black uh, backgrounds, very neon and bright and beautiful. That's just great. Those eyes are fantastic, and the butterflies are very cute. That's great color. Wow. It's like a dark mode rainbow. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm going to call it. I like that. Okay. Oh, 
Thanks. Okay, you guys are helping. You're going to get right in these blankets, don't you? Okay, uh, let's see. We've reached a layer. It's like an it's like a archaeological dig over here. We've gotten to a layer of, uh, of toys. We have hot cocoa and marshmallow cat toy sets. Exactly what it says. Well, that's a very happy looking marshmallow, though. <laughs> Sorry, he's got to learn not to be quite so bitey with people. And if you just blow in their face a little bit, it's like it's like hissing. It's you know, when cats hiss at each other, they're not always mad. A lot of times it's just language. You know, that's the only way they know how to say, don't do that. So we use it. Okay, uh, here we have a gingerbread man with his leg uh, missing. I know there's one of these in the Christmas room because I was so amused by one last week. Uh, this is pumpkin spice toys, I see. We've got a pumpkin and a cinnamon bun and a pumpkin spice latte and some fall leaves. Ooh, this is cool. Look at that. We have classic Nintendo Entertainment System controllers uh, with wires. <laughs> the wires are a cute way to make it a cat toy, aren't they? Very cute. Although it should probably have that little square gray plug on the end then, right? And then it would be complete. Um, and it says Nintendo on it. It's not even misspelled. This must have Somebody must have paid for this branding or not. <laughs> In which case they're super rare. It looks just like the old classic Nintendo controllers that I had when I was a little kid. That's so cool. I love it. This is a shiny, shiny uh, Santa hat and a sweet thing candy. This is a cat wrapped up in a green sweater with Christmas lights. He looks very grumpy about it, and he's got an awesome, like, yellow hair sticking out of the top of his head. We have two very shiny little minnows here. This is, uh, these are also a new one. You know, we see this kind of thing all the time, but I'm always amused when I see, or interested, I should say, when I see something that's a little different and new. And these are so shiny. Their bodies are made out of a mesh material that's stronger than the usual. Um, and they've got little tiny embroidered fins. Look at that. They've got these little... So they've got a super shiny head, super shiny tail. They've got these great feathers. They've got this uh, strong material in the middle. And these little embroidered fins just to set it off a bit with their embroidered eyes. Uh, that's nice. That's a good, good little cat toy there. All right, we got a Christmas tree. We got a Christmas stocking. Ooh, we got a very pretty peacock. Look at that. Very beautiful. An elephant. All right. Uh, well, here we have an owl with a video game controller. This looks just like an owl that Alice the Owl would send. Uh, that's a cute little combination there. Ooh, another owl. Look at his eyes. He's like, woo. Uh, all right, that's why they make that noise. We have a Christmas set here with a cute um, uh, reindeer and a little uh, snowman head. Is this what I'm looking for? Snowman head. There we go. Got a couple cute mice and Spider-Man colors. We have Bad Kitty stocking. Well, Bad Kitty doesn't get a stocking, or maybe it's full of coal. Uh, kind of crunches. Might be coal. This says Nip Nog. All right, Nip Nog. Oh, we also have Tickled Pink Champagne. That's a cute name. Uh, we have a set of winter gloves tied together so you don't lose them. Uh, or you lose them both together. This is really nice. This is a felted, um, it is the caterpillar and butterfly, or the before and after toys, I guess. Um, it says handmade in Nepal, and you can tell uh, the felt's really nice, and the colors are super bold. I don't know if the uh, camera's going to pick it up, but these are really bright, bold colors. That's very pretty. I like the fact that it is the caterpillar and the butterfly together. They both look very happy about it. Okay. Here we have a donut, and um, is that supposed to be a candy or just a Christmas uh, popper? I don't know. <laughs> Here we have a flat mouse, except it's not a flat mouse. It's not a real flat mouse. This one is actually somewhat three-dimensional, as you can see, so a bit of false advertising, but he is in the sploot uh, flat mouse position, so I guess that's why he's getting away with it. Uh, a little bit of a flat mouse. Okay, here we have... I haven't seen the official in a long time. Are they not cool anymore? I don't know. I, I hadn't thought of that until just now. When was the last time I saw one of those? Do they not make them? Hmm. Uh, okay, this is Colorful Fish. Well, I can't describe it any better than that. 
we have the three fetch mice that uh, these are for cats that play fetch. I mean, they really are. Speaking of cats that play fetch, oh, um, look at that. This is really cute too. This is a very dressed up Santa and reindeer. Uh, cats that play fetch. Drizzle is a fetch master. She will play fetch just like Loganberry endlessly. And she's got a pretty wide variety of toys that she'll do it with right now. Uh, right now her favorite is that little red lobster that you probably have seen. Uh, but basically anything, if she sees you throw it, she'll go get it and bring it right back. It's, it's really cute. Uh, oh, this is made out of that same mesh material that I like, but it's got sparkles in it, and it's a whale, and it's got embroidered eyes. This is also, is this the same brand? This is so cute. It is. Little Paws Leaps and Bounds. Little Paws Leaps and Bounds are the brand. Uh, Leaps and Bounds are the brand. Little Paws, I guess, is the sub thing. International Pet Supplies. Okay. Petco. I see it as the Petco brand. Um, so, Petco brand. Uh, really cute. This one is so cute. It's so wide. It's a whale. He's got his tail up in the air. It's three-dimensional. Um, it's got a big wide mouth and the cutest thing of course is this feather is his, uh, you know, his blowhole. That's uh, look at that. Very cute. Okay. Here we have mini mice. They're just two little puff balls with ears and tails. There's not even any eyes in there. That is adorable. That is so cute. All right. Oh, and it's so cute. We got two or four, I guess, depending on how you count. Uh, we got some big mice. We've got this one that makes noise once you pull the tag out. We have some more colorful fish. Uh, this is cool. This is a li another little pause. Uh, leaps and bounds. Wow, Petco, they're really making some cool stuff I haven't seen. It is a little chick uh, that has a plastic ball in the middle that contains beads. And it is apparently staticky enough that these feathers, these ostrich feathers that they used, are going to stick every which way right now. Look at that. And then it's got a string and a loop on the end so you can bounce it around for the kitties to play with. That almost looks like something you'd use for a human toddler, doesn't it? With those little beads in it. Oh man, that's cool. What do you think? Is that cool? Do you see the little beads moving inside? It's like a little tiny Teletubby, isn't it? It's TV in there you can watch. In the middle of it. Very cool. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, here we have two chickens, roosters, two roosters, and they are also super detailed, very cute. Uh, little flat roosters. These are flat roosters. These would work fine as flat mice if I wanted a flat mouse, and much more detailed than the flat mouse. Okay, here we have a hedgehog. I love hedgehogs. Look at this little guy. He's blue, too. That's weird. Um, I only know you know, one famous blue hedgehog. I don't think they come in blue for real. Not that I've seen it anyway. All right, here we have a Pounce Alpaca cat toy. All right. Uh, we have pickles, the Christmas pickles. Of course, that's a thing people do. Uh, that was never our tradition, so it's something I've learned about since Kitten Academy. But here we have two Christmas pickle catnip toys. One is dressed as a little girl with a scarf, and one is a little boy with a Christmas hat, I'm assuming. Uh, I know. Okay, here we have. Oh, this is cool. This is um, this is. I see. It's a box of boxed pasta. It's made out of felt. The box is made out of felt, and it even has uh, a window in the front, like they do at the grocery store in the pasta boxes, so you can see which pasta you're buying. Uh, and it's not just cellophane, actually. It's made out of a thick vinyl, so that's going to last. That's nice. Then the top of the box opens with Velcro, and inside you have spaghetti noodles, or uh, fun tubes, which are basically spaghetti noodles. That's so cool. There's also some little bits of, uh, I don't know, meatballs in here? What are these? I'm going to go with meatballs. It's just a non-distinct little brown thing. Uh, that's so cute. And the Velcro, so you can close it. And it's got a little chef kitty in the corner. That's uh, the most unique toys. Super cute. Okay, in the bottom here, you've lined with Nulo, which is the food we feed. So that's great. But one more blanket. Here we go. This one is upside down, I think. Let's try it this way. Oh, wow, that's big. Look at that. And another bold colors. This one's a little more angular. And those eyes, this is sharp. Look at that. Uh, cool. And I, I, I don't know if this is intentional, but I like the fact that we can see 
uh, it's pixelated on the edges. And I don't, they could have done that on purpose because it looks really cool as a stylistic choice. Um, or they might have just had art that didn't blow up big enough for this blanket, but uh, I like it. I think it looks cool. All right. Well, look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys, uh, the B&B sisters take such great care of our, I'm going to say take such great care of our adopters because I think the majority of this stuff ends up going to fill out those endowments, uh, which are plentiful. Uh, our basement right now is so full. Oh my goodness. So uh, I hope any adopters are planning on uh, bringing a lot of stuff home with their kittens. Okay. Well, actually, I should put all the endowment stuff in here for now. Let's do that. There's stuff that's going to go downstairs, let's say, whether it's going to be endowed or not. So I'm just going to gather all this up. Oh, I love this little whale. He's so cute. Okay. A lot of fun stuff in there. You send the most unique toys. There's just there's always stuff that I that I've never seen. That's got to take a lot of work finding that stuff, but it's really cute. Okay, slide that back out of the way. Look at this. You guys have torn up my catnip bag. I really should put this in a box. We normally put it in a box, um, but I just I found the bag first when I was filling this up, and now catnip everywhere. Not that that's not fun. That's fun, too. Oh, look out, buddy. This one's got a lot of mass. Oh, lots of inertia there. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, on the outside, it only says to Kitten Academy. Um, and I don't think Chewy lets you leave a note. So it could be a mystery about where this one came from. But let's see. Maybe maybe they started letting you leave a note. I mean, it really seems like something that they ought to do. Ooh. Well, whoever sent it, um, this is an extremely practical and wonderful thing to send. You've sent us the big 12 ounce cans of Nulo. Like I just said, this is exactly what we feed the kids. Nulo, this is freestyle. Uh, we feed them the turkey and chicken pate and we've discovered that Nulo actually um, sells it under a couple different labels and the products are nearly identical. Uh, for a while, I was convinced that they actually are identical. The list of ingredients is identical. Uh, but I'm not going to guarantee that they don't, you know, do something a little bit different in the in the freestyle versus the, uh, this is the other one actually right here, uh, metal series. And I think they've got a couple others too. I think it's the same food. Anyway, we feed them interchangeably and the kittens seem to like them all just the same. So... That's the way it works. They say on their website that, that they sell them for different markets. You know, like the one might be for Amazon and the other one might be for a fancy pet store. Um, and I was kind of reading into that, that they're just saying, yes, it really is the same product. Uh, but maybe not. That's, uh, and not that there would be anything wrong with it. If it was the same product, there's nothing wrong with meeting your market like that at all. Uh, all I'm trying to say is that it's fine if, uh, if either one, if you send us either one, uh, we use them equally here. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Okay, I think we're going to just go on through because we've only got four packages left, although I think these are, might all take some time because they each look like uh, they've been kind of hand-packed. And this one, uh, let's see, read card note first. I sent you a PM. Okay, I think I know what this is about. I have a, a vague uh, memory of having read that PM. Uh, so... Let's uh, just see what I can find here. Oh, these are cute. Yes, okay. I may have cut too far, even with the safety knife. Look at that, I don't even make that mistake. The safety knife gives me too much confidence. And then it will cut things. Um, I've cut through the bag here, the plastic bag, but that's okay. Okay, I think we know what this is all about. Good. Mr. A and Dr. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you took so many uh, steps to make sure that I understood like uh, what was okay to read on stream because here you've got mostly okay to read on stream with mostly highlighted and then like you say you also wrote me on uh, Discord and you also put this note right here. I think that is so considerate of you. Thank you so much for that consideration. 
Uh, you've also sealed this with some real sealing wax. That's pretty, too, because it's not just one color. It's like a mixed. Okay. Aw, I love these cartoons. I, I, um, the, the space aliens that often have cats involved. Uh, it's, just, it's just the cartoonist is just sort of seeing life through the eyes of an alien, which has always been fun. Anyway, he's holding a cat, and he's saying, I found this. It's vibrating, uh, which is cute. It says, we must interact with it despite the risk of injury. <laughs> enjoy your East Coast uh, fall. Yes, th enjoy your East Coast fall. Thank you, love. True Blue. Thank you, True Blue. Nathan W. Pyle is the name of that artist, by the way. It says on the back here. And wow, he's made it big. I remember when he was just an internet guy, and now he's doing shoebox cards for Hallmark, uh, which has got to be some money, right? I hope. I hope. Everybody deserves that. Okay. Uh, this is sweet. Okay, you say, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, well, you've helped yet another beautiful class of kittens come into this world, and the world is all the better for it. As seems to be the norm for fostering, you've had some trials and tribulations, but you both have handled them with grace and compassion for those of us peeking in on your lives and, I hope, yourselves. You do an amazing job, and I applaud you. When I was thinking about the petty cash and what I wanted to do for kickers, I thought, oh, gray kittens, so gray kickers. No, too easy. Too easy. After watching these beautiful kittens for a few weeks, I kept hearing in my head, shades of purple, shades of purple. Well, I don't always follow all the voices in my head. I thought this was a good one. So purple it is. Thank you again for all you do for the mom, cats, and kittens. You are both the best. Thank you very much. And I'll just I'll mention the part that, that um, you, you let us uh, leave out is that you did make one for Bill. And as I mentioned before, Bill's adopter is going to get the stuff um, that was sent specifically for Bill. And um, you are aware of that, which is why you went ahead and sent it. So thank you so much for that. I, I really appreciate it. And I know Bill's adopter would too, uh, does. So Till. Till, a uh, little purple guy. Um, I guess they're all purple. I shouldn't say that. Flowers. We have, uh, I think these are carnations probably, little purple ones. Here we have this cool oval geometric pattern for ledger. Farthing gets a flowers, a little drawn flowers. I noticed the purples that you used aren't all the same shade either. Uh, the, even, I mean, the backings. Look at that. That's cool. So these are more lavender. And here we have lavender dragonflies for quid, and sort of a lavendery, uh, well, it's just a, a scribble, but it makes a bunch of hearts, a bunch of heart shaped scribbles. Beautiful. Okay. Like I said, I did cut this bag, but I'm still going to put everything back into it. At least it helps keep it contained, even if the catnip smell is now going to leak out. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Um, yeah, I was thinking about dumping some of my extra catnip in this bag, but that's okay. We'll leave that for now. I'm going to put it right over there. Uh, I'm going to put this over there, too, and then we don't need to have your bag. Um, very cute. If you're curious, it is also purple, and it has little spirals, so that's adorable. Okay. There we go. Oh, these can go over there, too, now, can't they? All right, right there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is uh, International oh, Australia Post. Okay, let's see. Ooh, all right. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to show your address to everybody, but this is, I like the way you've wrapped this. You've got uh, the envelope. It's got our address on it, and it, uh, that isn't that interesting, though. Hmm. Oh, oh, interesting. It says this was returned once. That's why we got an envelope and an envelope. I'm so sorry. Look at all the trouble you went through for us and the kittens. Oh, we haven't even seen what it is yet, but let's read your note. Your note, which is woo, super sparkly. Look at those sparkles on the borders of the note. I like that. It says, um, hi, Chris. This little parcel was originally sent to you from Australia early October at the same time as a separate birthday card and letter. However... I was surprised to see it returned to my mailbox almost two weeks later. Uh, the post office sticker, yes, which I was just reading, declared that due to electronic advanced data requirements, items containing goods must be accompanied by a customs form and sent as a parcel for customs data to be captured and transmitted. We regretfully advise we are unable to complete delivery. So it sounds like the problem was that it's in an envelope and not a box. Uh, and also it needs to have a customs form. 
Um, so, here we are at last, a package hopefully now meeting official requirements containing nothing illegal, being of appropriate size and weight, no doubt a couple of weeks later than intended. I imagine you would already have the birthday card and letter I sent. Thank you for your continuing enthusiastic support of all these wonderful cats and kittens. We thank you most sincerely. This little parcel that calls, caused all the fuss is for you to enjoy in some of that spare time you have. Not uh, with the best wishes and big hugs to you both. Julie in Geelong, I still I haven't looked up to see if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, from last week, Australia, uh, and you've drawn a little kitty there. It's really cute. I'm, I want to apologize to you for all the trouble you went to. I don't know why I have that urge. It, 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 I guess it's not my fault, really, um, but um, it's so sweet of you to have done this, and then I, if, if I had gotten up all of the energy to go through the effort in the first place to send it, when it came back to me, I would have been like, well, not meant to be. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't have continued on and made sure it happened the second time. I, I appreciate that persistence. It's very sweet of you. Uh, it has a cute little card, and it says, I heart cats, and it's got these cute little uh, line-drawing kitties that have uh, great faces. Plus, it's offset with a little bit of tissue paper, real sort of mixed media card. It says, happy birthday, Chris. Here's a little fun project for you to do during all that spare time you have. Oh, I love Julie Brian Coco from Geelong, Australia. Okay. And what is the project? Well, okay, it involves pineapple. Oh, it's a DIY pineapple decoration from the Crafter's Corner. Uh, you can see what it will look like when it is completed. And it's just a little uh, pineapple with a string, maybe for a Christmas tree ornament or any sort of decoration. You can see they're not going to limit themselves to Christmas. They, they said decoration. They didn't say Christmas ornament. So uh, good on them. And you can see it's got the pineapple-shaped pieces here and the little pineapple toppers. And it's got the bits of string that you'll need in the various colors and all the fiber fill that you'll need to put on the inside. It's already got holes punched, so you don't have to worry about sewing into the right spot. And it even includes a needle right here. Look at that. It's literally everything you need. Uh, that's cute. And you say that, but I could very well end up just uh, put this at my desk and end up doing it at some point when I'm sitting there watching a cat. That would be fun. Or maybe um, even if I'm in one of the rooms sitting in the beanbag chair with a kitty. The, they might be too helpful, though, right? That's, that's a problem that DJ sometimes has with her little things. I'm surprised how well the kittens stay away from that. But every now and then, uh, one of them gets determined to get into whatever DJ's building. And then I hear her. Uh, she very rarely throws them out. She normally just keeps complaining at them over and over and over like... Uh, um, it's ridiculous. <laughs> She'll just tell them repeatedly all day long, kitten no, kitten no, kitten no, kitten no, uh, but not like put them out and close the door. It's, uh, it's cute. Okay, let's see here. What do we have next? This is from Lisa for Kittens, it says on the outside. Lisa for Kittens, okay. Wow, the safety knife, I almost just cut through the, the other lip of the box, too. Like, this one's got a big gap right here. It catches, I think, a little more than it ought to. Um, I'm sure if you would just use a little bit of caution with it. Oh, my goodness, Lisa for Kittens. Okay, so um, I get the impression that Lisa for Kittens has uh, heard me say how much I love uh, little electronic toys for the kittens and taking that to heart. That's just me. I just, I'm just a gadget guy. You don't have to, nobody has to take that to heart that way. But uh, here's your note and you say exactly what's in here. This is really next level. Um, and I know the adopters are going to think this is great. Uh, so generous of you, Lisa for kittens. P16 for the petty cash, one each or one per adopter as you see fit. From Lisa for Kittens. Lisa for Kittens. Uh, as you guys know, the P16 is that uh, smart toy, the ball that we sometimes use around here. As far as the ones um, that aren't remote controlled goes, it's got to be my favorite, my current favorite. Um, although the one that we have has broken somehow that I don't even understand yet, and I haven't fully looked into it, so I don't know. Uh, but it keeps falling out of its little ring. Um, it still lasted a long time, so I feel like it was still a good deal for us. And it's, as far as it goes, when it's running, it's great. So you see it's got a gray ball, 
Um, it's such a brilliant design. Uh, very few missing, um, you know, design elements because the ball is covered in a rubber that grips really well. And then it's got this frame around the outside that is what actually pushes against the floor and it works both ways. So it's not like the ones that just have the one tail on one side and get stuck all the time. This thing moves and it never gets stuck. It's fast, it's powerful. And the best thing is the frame uh, has, a, it comes with like three little furry skins that you can put on the outside so it has fur and it's got these little tails, uh, balls that you can hook on there too that it, it rolls around and it's trailing the, the balls behind it. So extra, extra fun that way. Um, I think these are really good little cat toys uh, as far as the like techie cat toys go. Um, and the ones that you don't have to play with. Like I, like I think if you were choosing between this and a Sphero Mini, Probably the Sphero Mini is overall um, going to be the, the, the cooler toy and the one that you can do more with, but you have to do it. Like, it's not just within limits. Don't, let's not get into that. But you have, you have to do it. Uh, where the, uh, the P16, you just you hit the button, you put it down, the cats have fun. And you can leave it out all day, and they have fun all day, because what it'll do is it stops and it sits in a corner, and then every now and then it just kind of moves and makes a noise. And if the cats don't pay attention to it, that's all it does. It, it just stops again, so it's not too annoying. But if they go over there and start hitting it, then it starts running around again. And uh, that's, it's fun. It's, it's a good one. So uh, Lisa for Kittens, I know you've seen these guys playing with theirs in here and uh, must have thought that was a great thing to send them for them to always have. And it is. It's just so uh, generous of you. So thank you for that. And I also see um, this is interesting because this looks like a recycled box, but it also looks like an Amazon label and it says from Lisa for Kittens. So the question I have is whether this is um, something Lisa for Kittens packed and sent or whether it's something the post office uh, broke and had to repack. Let's find out. I've been wondering. Okay, well, uh, opening the box does not solve the mystery, but I don't think anything's missing, so uh, I'm guessing it was the post office. I don't see how that label could exist otherwise. This is the ball track, the, the good one. Um, the, the, I say the good, they're both good ones. I shouldn't say that. The cat at one is also great, uh, but this one's fun because you can arrange it into whatever shape you want, where the cat at one is rigid. Um, on the other hand, uh, this one doesn't have any bumps in it on its own. You've got to kind of lay it over something, but it works very well that way too. You can just put a little something under it to make a, a ridge if you want the ball to move like they do on the cat it. So, so these are great Magic Cat flexible track. You can also get more than one and connect them together. And uh, Lisa for Kittens, you've sent a box of one, two, three, four, five of these, which is great. And uh, just like with the P16s, I'm sure you want these to go for all of these kittens for endowments. So. Uh, thank you for that. You, uh, like the B&B sisters, have taken such good care of so many kittens. Uh, thank you very, very much for that. Okay. Uh, last box from Ye Olde Pound Cake. All right, Pound Cake has sent a box in a box. Classic Amazon classic. Okay. Hang on. Oh, looks like another Woot find, according to this note. But um, that's it. There's no other note. Uh, there's no, there's no other note. Uh, but we know who it's from. We know it's from the old pound cake. And uh, let's see. We know it's something. Oh well, I can read the description. The description says cactus cat scratching triple posts with dangling ball large. Uh, is that the same as the one that the kittens have? I don't know. I think it might be a replacement one, or maybe it's just another one along the same line. Let's try to use this thing carefully this time. Just barely hook it. Uh, it's, uh, it's complicated. It takes a little bit of effort here. A little manual dexterity. Hmm. All right. Something in very short supply for me. Uh, well, I recognize the motif as you do, but this does not exist in the existing one. So this is, a, I think... Here we go. There it is. Uh, yeah, this is a different design. Wow, so many different cactus designs. We could have a whole desert, um, which I guess we did do a, a sort of a 
southwestern theme when we uh, that was when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out and I was so excited and that was a fun one I, I like it uh, the game and the theme I mean so anyway here's the picture you can see it is a big uh, base it's got two posts and this weird thing uh, flat um, short cactus I guess uh, and the kittens of course will love it so thank you so much for that I'm going to make sure that we put it with all of the other uh, we still have the vast majority of that southwest theme uh, it's I don't think we've redeployed it entirely but you do keep seeing the cactuses stick popping up uh, because I think that's mostly because of the big uh, the big cactus is just so nice but that's been moved to the garage and I haven't yet put the new rope on it hmm things to do all right well um, I think that was mailbag though, wasn't it? So uh, how do we do? 11.08. Not bad at all, especially considering the delays I had at the beginning. That was almost exactly an hour, wasn't it? So uh, fantastic. And it seems like that was enough for the kittens who are worn out now. Everybody's taking a nap. Wow. I could almost go for one myself. You can stay in this little basket farthing. It is adorable, but you are sleeping on all of my stickers and I want them. It's like a dragon sleeping on his hoard. Hoard? I think that's the right word. Why does that sound like the wrong word? Weird. Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Like you just, like a word you use like the all day long and you're like, wait, the, the, the? How do I say that? Um, okay. All right, these are all empty, I think. Good, 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 good. Put this in here. Well, uh, you guys know the drill by now. I am going to pack all this stuff away where it belongs. I'm going to say thank you again. And then that will have been today's mailbag. And we will repeat it next week. Uh, I thought, by the way, as I was setting up for mailbag today, I looked at the stream and I thought, wow, I should have put all the mail in the Christmas tree room and then we could just have Christmas every weekend until Christmas. Uh, right? I think that's what we're going to do from here on out. I'm just mailbags in the Christmas tree room from now on. It's just going to be endless Christmas. Uh, Christmas every mailbag. What do you think of that, huh? What do you think of that? A little doublonicus. Is there room for two? No, there's really not, but that's fun to try. <laughs> it's fun to try. Okay. Turn you around so we can get another picture here. That's too much. Too much cat for one basket, but neither one of them is going to move because they're too cute that way, aren't they? Too cute. All right. I suppose I should post those pictures on the Discord before I forget. Ah. Uh. Oh, I saw a pound cake saying that you're playing My Time at Sand Rock that has the cactuses in it. Uh, that's on my list. It's on my list of games to play at some point, but I never even finished the first one. Um, but I did, uh, this is going to sound really dumb, I did, of course, greatly enjoy um, Stardew Valley, which kind of thing, I'm told. So I should probably really enjoy those. Um, I actually have Porsche. I'll play that at some point. Anyway, the new one looks really cool, and I was excited too, but I've got a big backlog of games to play now. That's a nice problem to have. Oh, hey, look at that. Raindrop's collar. Bring that with us. Hi, Till. All right, no longer a mystery cat. Put this right on you, kiddo. Now I know who you are. Okay. 
actually, if I'm honest, I haven't played Stardew Valley officially because I played the entire way through um, before it was released. And I haven't played it all the way through since. Uh, and I know they've added a ton of stuff. So technically, I guess both of those on my backlog. Oh, it's endless. Endless, but you know, it's important work. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to play those video games. And if not me, I mean, you want it done right. You got to do it yourself. I don't have a space for these right now. <laughs> I should turn off this microphone too before I forget. Uh, put these on the kitchen counter for the moment. Okay, let's take away the mic. I guess it could be if we close these kids up in here, let like custom play with the kids. Who does that? Okay. Just as long as Till's not in here, too, he's going to be fine. Well, buddy, is that what you wanted? No, he just thinks that's a way out. Doesn't go all the way out, does it? Somebody peed on your bed. Probably you, though. Actually, that doesn't make sense. It was probably Sprout. Actually, let's just blame Brawly. Keep it going. Brawly, how dare you? You don't get to go out yet, buddy. Sorry. No, no, not yet.
Frustrated. I don't know why you're so frantic, but this is not okay, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. You think that's going to get you out of here, Custer? It might just get you more locked up. What's going on, pal? Is that you acting offended when you were the aggressor, I'm sure? Oh, hey, don't take my knife either, all right? Wow. Do you have any stickers under there too? Mm -hmm. I'm watching you, Custard. I know, you, you've learned the Zoom. I know, I know. I know your trick. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Nope, no Zoomies. Well, I think that's everything. Uh, hopefully the kids are going to want to go back to their nap now. Let's see if maybe Custer just wants some food. Come here, Big Buster. Is this what you want? Yeah, okay. Maybe you missed breakfast because you were too busy. He's so nice, you know. He can be a bully, but it's nice of him to he always sort of defers to the kittens and uh, with the toys and the food. He's a good boy.
You already done, buddy? Okay. Alright, you can come in here now. Now look, your poops have been great. I don't want you to get in there and eat all that food, so I'm picking it up in just a second. In fact, why don't I do that now? And let you have the rest of your breakfast and do what I think. And then I know, I know, we're not gonna lock you in, baby. Well, as everybody situated, at least uh, for the moment, so I'm going to say that was me. I thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I know the adopters do too. Um, 